Hi guys. Take this out, sorry. Hi guys, you're Gary Rue back again with another uh, Aries compatibility. So I hope y'all doing well. Let's go ahead and get started and shuffle a little bit and see what sign is next. Compatible with the Aries. Which one of y'all want to be compatible with the Aries? Let's see. Who is it, y'all? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Uh oh. Okay, I guess it's the Libra. Alrighty then. My sign. So this is going to be interesting because I had some encounters with some Aries and they want to shower me with gifts and pick up my clothes, but not consistent. Disappear. Come back like nothing's wrong. Disappear again. <laughs> but yeah, let's read a little bit about Aries. And then um, I'll stalk me and see how compatible we two are. Okay, Aries, you're a passionate, motivated, confident leader who builds community with their cheerful disposition and relentless determination. Uncomplicated, direct in their approach, they often get frustrated by exhaustive details and unnecessary nuances. Okay, let's see your weaknesses, Aries, or your strengths first, so you're brave, concentrated, Self-assured, optimistic, honest, weaknesses, uh, a little arrogant, lack of patience, moody, alterations, predispositions for quick loss of temper, impulsiveness, aggressiveness, your likes, uh, convenient, clothing, the qualities of a leader, different physical challenges, and, and like sports. Uh, what are you good at? Uh, being trustworthy is a natural high for an Aries. Not only are they trustworthy, but also very trusting. They assume friends and lovers would treat them as they treat others, which often isn't the case. Aries usually have a collection of stories about being taken advantage of, <clears throat> excuse me, backstabbed and let down. So Aries, y'all going to have to recognize stuff ahead of time. Uh, let's see. Uh, your sexual compat No, it's not for that. What are you afraid of? Uh, are quite confident, energetic, and a bit of a daredevil. So it's no surprise that their biggest fear is the fear of going unnoticed or being forgotten. The most common insecurity of an Aries is that they sometimes feel lost, but will never ask for advice from others. Y'all can't be like that, Aries, uh, about being alone. No matter how active an Aries can be, at some point they will always find themselves alone and lonely. As much as Aries love people, they have some dark nights of the soul when they can't stand, th stand them. The good thing is that Aries' ex episodes of loneliness don't last for very long. I think all of us like that Aries. We all kind of like, you know, get frustrated with people sometimes. What attracts, uh, what makes Aries attractive? Um, Aries attracts through personal charisma. Often they are loud and constantly making their presence known in a group setting. They get shabby, shab, slap happy and have a, a Joan Devar that is contagious. People are, Aries people are fun, excuse me, to be around and never boring. That's so true. The dark side of Aries, both sexes are quick to anger and that's the heart of their dark side. Aries male thrives on physical challenges and when it's mixed with anger, the warrior nature is active, activated. What makes you hurt, Aries? Um, feeling when you feel emotional, which means if you hurt, it's like that your partner will withdraw in, into himself and be quite, become quite secretive. That's because when it comes to Aries men, they want to be seen as strong characters who aren't ruled by their emotions. But you know, you got to remember when you're in relationships, you got to show your vulnerable side. I love that. 
being a Libra. Um, do y'all fall in love quickly? Um, you love the chase. They have a tendency to rush into things super quickly, like love. But just as quick as they fall in, they quickly fall out. As a fire sign, Aries can recover, and they can do it even faster if they find someone else who doesn't habitually let them down. So don't always run to another partner, y'all. Uh, let's see. Here we show their feelings. Uh, how you show your feelings. Very proud of personality and don't hide their feelings uh, unless they feel in such a way that the other person would have the upper hand. They show emotion if someone angered them, but they won't let you know easily if you hurt them. Let's see. Let's do it one more. How do you please an Aries? Play with his hair. This is this can be nice for play where you hold his head in your hand while playing with his hair. Let him lead if you want to turn on an Aries man in bed. You need to give him the lead. Being rough is what he wants. Sex in public places. Touch his face. Experiment. Have sex a lot. Let him be on top. Now, uh, we're going to go to Libra. Oh, okay, let's do one more. Uh, why are Aries so good in bed? Because their fiery nature and big egos, Aries would be into ex exhibit exhibitionism or public sex. <laughs> Something where they get to show off their goods. Um... The body part, Aries, rules is the head. So stroking the head, hair, is definitely a turn on. And that other head, we know Aries. Okay. Now let's find Libra traits. Okay. L-I-B-R-A. And Librans are known for being charming, beautiful, and well-balanced. They thrive on making things orderly and... I don't know what they're pleasing. They also crave balance, and they can be equally as self-indulgent as they are generous. Generous. Libras also the kings and queens of compromise, and they like making peace between others. That we do. What are weaknesses? Uh, inherit escapades, conflicts. Grudges and normal self pity. Libras likes balance, kindness, parting with others, outdoor activities. Libras dislikes violent injustice, confrontation. These identities are peaceful, immortal, impartial, and just hate being in solitude and constantly require company. Mm, not every Libra, so you have to know my chart. Uh, what is the personality of a Libra? We're charming. Uh, okay, we said that. Love of balance. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, we already read that. Saying the same thing. Can't stand chaos. What are we afraid of? Or uh, in... Decisive, romantic, di diplomatic. They are often sociable, friendly, and can charm also most people. They are often indecisive because they focus on studying every different approach before making a decision. Consequently, Libra's biggest fear is making the wrong decision. Yeah, I guess so, but, you know, I go ahead on and make it anyway. Uh, what makes Libra happy? Uh, just want the freedom of choice. They love being able to do things and buy things and obtain obtain things without ever having to wait for them. Yeah, we are a little impatient. Uh, where we want to be touched. Libras love to have their back, back end cheeks gently stroked or hit gently with a love tap. Okay. <laughs> Plus, if you're a Libra who's def definitely interested in this type of touch and are looking for more or have thought about it, 
it might be a sign that an annual play is right for you. I don't know about that annual play, y'all. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, well, Libra's so special. Is obsessed with symmetry and strives to create equilibrium in all areas of life. These air signs are the uh, athlete and the athletics of the zodiac ruled by Venus, the planet that governs love, beauty, and money. Libras adore high art, intellectualism, and uh. I don't know what that word is, y'all. We're going to go to the next one. Uh, Do we like cuddling? Once they find someone they really care about, they want to lavish them with attention and affection. They are eager to please their partner. I want them to truly feel secure, appreciated, and so... Uh oh, my uh, thing when a cuddle time is definitely a priority for the scales. Okay, um, y'all. Uh, let me light this, y'all. I'm gonna make sure everything's flowing. That's a money one. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure everybody be blessed with that moolah and protection. Okay. So, yeah, it's uh, uh oh, wrong way. Yeah, money drawing and uh, dark sandalwood. Excuse me. Okay, yeah. Um, back to the Libra and Aries. Now they were both opposite sign. We're opposite signs, so we pull from each other's strength, and we act like each other at times. Um, like I say, the only thing uh, I had an experience with the Aries and Aries in that chart is um, they like to disappear on me. And then they go and plan some things uh, for me. I guess it's for me. I don't know because you haven't talked to me in a while. And come back with, you know, I have land for you. You want some land. You have cows, whatever. And I haven't seen you like in three, four years. Okay. So that kind of stuff a Libra don't understand. Uh, we're materialistic, but we're not materialistic. I uh, hope y'all get that. Um, we want our partner to communicate. We have to talk. You have to be around me and talking to me and stuff. You know, not forcing me. Now, sometimes we like to be quiet because we like we think better. We like to have our. Um, you know, we like to have uh, our downtime because we're thinkers. So we're thinking of things and, and putting things together and analyzing and all that kind of stuff. Now, Aries, y'all more of, you know, uh, you think of it, you're going to try it. You know, you go getters. You know, if it don't work, you're going to try something else. Libra's like that too. But we like to weigh it and, and, you know, go ahead and try it. And, you know, first we research it first and then go ahead and try it, you know, stuff like that. So it can work with Aries and Libra, but it have to be communication. It has. That's number one. And the sexual part, what I've learned about Aries is um, you always want to be stroked, especially with the main ego. And I don't mind complimenting. That's, no, that's nothing for a Libra to do that. But the sexual thing all the time without talking intellectual and y'all very intellectual, but you want someone to hold that privacy while they're talking. That distracts me. And I, I think y'all do that on purpose, but y'all kind of like, Aries is kind of like self-centered. Um, Libras are in their own way as well. So the sexual things will really have to be scheduled and talked about. I'm sorry to say scheduled spontaneous as well and we're private so we really don't like the outside sex i mean yeah in the car we, we do like spontaneous things don't get me wrong but we don't care to do that in front of people you know so y'all could work you know just have to like i say really know each other's love language and really share with each other we like surprise sometimes we like surprises 
and um, we'll love to get our man gifts and you know do things with him and, and hug and cuddle and all that kind of good stuff you know just be fair with us in front of people and stuff like that don't you know wait for us to come to you like uh some signs that's like cancer but yeah so it can work y'all and i advise y'all to go to www.astro.com and pull up your birth charts and study each other and uh when you go there go to horoscope put alternate charts and uh fill out all the information and kind of study who you are and who your partner is and and uh Chiron is mostly about what happened in that partner's childhood so y'all can heal each other and you know stuff like that so yeah it can work if you really want to you know if y'all really want to do that and y'all both strive for greatness because uh you're definitely a power couple so yeah that's my view on Aries and Libra so on to the next and I appreciate y'all for listening like subscribe comment share and until next time, it's your girl Ruth signing off, y'all. Bye.